Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Assault, and today we're going to be checking out the unique weapon Occam's Razor in Fallout 3. Now, to get this weapon, you're going to want to head to Fort Bannister, and you will want to head to the Commander's Tent, which is a tent separated from all the other ones. Inside, you will see a tunnel that leads down into the Commander's Headquarters area of the Talon Company base that is right under Fort Bannister. Now, once you get in there, there will be a ton of Talon Company men and soldiers ready to fight you and ready to kill you. So you're going to need to come in here equipped with some heavy weapons and definitely a buttload of stim packs. Now once you power through all of these guys, you will eventually find Commander Jabsko. At the end, you will need to kill him and on his body, you will find the Occam's Razor. Now, the Occam's Razor is a unique combat knife and it actually does more damage than the regular combat knife, which is pretty nice, allowing you to do 10 damage per hit as opposed to the regular 7 damage per hit. However, that is really the only noticeable difference about this besides the fact that it actually has a lower uh, strike condition, or what is it officially called, durability I think? It has a lower durability than the regular combat knife. You will only be able to strike about 1200 times from full condition before breaking compared to the combat knife's like 1280. Isn't really a huge difference as 1200 strikes with a melee weapon is quite a lot. Although the raw damage output of this weapon is not super amazing and the fact that it's so difficult to get really lowers the usability of it, especially since another unique combat knife called Stab Happy very highly outclasses it with its 4x uh, critical chance multiplier as opposed to this one's 3x critical chance multiplier and it deals more critical chance damage. But that's no big deal, we'll see that in a later video. Stab Happy is probably my favorite knife, but I feel like I'm dissing on the Occam's Razor too much. The name of this weapon is actually a reference to William of Occam, who had his own philosophical principle known as Occam's Razor. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about this weapon. Do note that if you kill Jabsko without shooting him by hacking the turrets or pickpocketing him and putting a grenade in his pocket, the weapon actually will not appear in his inventory. You can fix this by shooting his corpse. Anyways, thanks for watching the video guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future and I will see you next time. Goodbye.